welcome students my name is sadha krishnan so i welcome you for this webinar session today now this webinar session we are going to see about two three different concept of today's modern management activities right you often always hear that we talk of about social responsibility so we talk of about corporate social responsibility further down the line then again people say that we follow the principles of the corporate governance then what happens you know now everything is ready made built ready as per the needs of the people just in time is structure the concept so what does all these things means that is what totally famous so just to have a detailed analysis on each and every activity in the roles of it let us talk about the social responsibility social responsibility as such when we say you know every individual has got a social responsibility to do the thing now what is corporate social responsibility does corporate social responsibility totally stay away from an individual social responsibilities if you ask this question you know the answer is very simple corporate is nothing it is a whole group of bunch of people working towards the organization so it is again the individual who work for the corporates and the social responsibilities are the same individual getting delivered on the social responsibilities that is where the role of corporate social responsibilities comes with the help of the implementation of people working for a corporate right so when we talk about csr responsibilities in short or corporate social responsibilities on a major analysis we focus on we have got social responsibilities towards who are all the people where we have the commitments towards the csr objectives one to the shareholders why shareholders because without them there is no backbone behind it so they give us enough support by way of presence by way of financial support to make the organization grow better for today or tomorrow right so shareholders is one major pillar second the employees who are working for in corporate i have an objective so i have got lot of people working under me to ensure that these objectives are getting solved out so naturally the employees is at another people okay the third level is the customer to whom we are offering all these kinds of services or products or whatever be it so they should also have, we should extend our responsibility to them the customers third and the society at large what the society benefits out of doing by an activity is majorly contributes is all focus on these key elements like the shareholders the employees then what we call as a customer and then finally it comes out the society at large so these corporate social responsibilities it basically arise from social power so when i say social power you know the kind of the influence what a company can just extend towards the society in doing a good cause also reflects on the social power so when we say that social power how does it operate then the next question is it operates as basically a two way system so what are all the systems involved in a csr project when we operate it so when i say a two two way system one it's a open receipts of input from the society <coughs> to whom we are doing a particular activity it is for the society so let us hear from them that what they really expect us so that is why we say that open receipts of input from the society and what is the second objective second objective is how we are going to operate disclosure of our operations <coughs> is the second objective that we are calling so these are all the two ways of open system one is the open receipt or inputs from the society we get we take back and second is our disclosure how we are going to serve or offer to the public these two things are the major thing which we know and there are certain points that which we need to con- consider as far as by doing for a corporate social responsibility is concerned the social cost and benefit of an activity what for we are doing it so it is for a social cause and a benefit of an activity and we should we should be in a position to calculate and arrive and then we should take a decision whether we should carry out with this social activity project or not so the cost and benefits needs to make a very clear emphasis or analysis before taking a decision on this and then in a simultaneously 
दी सोशल कास्ट एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ एन एक्टिविटी और ए प्रोडक्ट और ए सर्विसेस शुड ऑल्सो बी पास ऑन टू द कस्टमर बिकॉज वेन वी डिसाइडेड दैट दिस इज द सोशल कास्ट एंड दिस इज द बेनिफिट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गिव दम अल्टीमेटली अंडलेस अदरवाइज वी गिव दी सोशल कास्ट एंड द बेनिफिट टू द कस्टमर देन अल्टीमेटली दिस विल बी ऑफ टोटल वेस्टेज सो दिस हैज टू बी कैरड आउट इन प्रिंसिपल ऑन दैट एक्टिविटी नाउ then what next can be done why should we do a csr objective for example let us understand that we are doing a large business empire in our country today so these business empires are virtual bodies again the people behind the organizations are all the people who conduct these things so any business institution they can they should consider themselves as citizen of the citizens of the country and they should have a fair amount of responsibility to get involved in the social social causes and they cannot say that it is not coming under the portfolio of the business what i am doing say for understanding let us understand that we are in the field of educational business we are giving academics subject studies knowledge reports is my area of an activity fine no doubt that is for a very good cause that we are providing it to but there is no harm that when we can also do a corporate social responsibility by way of say printing of the book book material or the books to the students who are suffering in the rural villages on what due to lack of money can we not suppose them as a social cause for getting themselves educated by giving the basic infrastructure there is no harm in doing it so that is why we say that business institution also has to contribute to the csr objective to ensure that they go beyond their business paraphernalia in extending the csr responsibility object of an issue and another comes then what next could be can we think of optimal utilization of scarce and natural resources available within the country has to be utilized that is another way of extending support we give employment to our people now most of the countries they always fight for that you know let us start giving employees to our people only and not to anybody else right so that is one way of doing it then what is the csr the major responsibility of csr responsibility is to ensure that we don't make losses responsibility is not to make losses is very very important also the corporate social responsibility project themselves in doing fair trade practice when i say that it is a fair trade practices we means giving offering the quality product at a fair economic at a fair price which is affordable to the customers also then environmental protection by doing a corporate large entity business i don't care whether my environment is getting polluted or not should not be the outlook so we will also ensure that we protect the environment by doing a large huge business let us not think of doing employing a big industrial factory inside the city we always go away slightly deep into it and do it then we talk of quality product at a fair price so these are all the major pillars as far as the corporate social responsibility objectives are concerned now most of the corporate organization in the today in india today they take up this csr activity for example classmates notes if you see you know they always give a print on the back cover that for every book you purchase rupee 1 will be donated to the rural education fund for the development of the children in education is what the csr activity which they project simultaneously there are lot of corporate organizations giants today in the market they talk about csr activity they promote csr activity to ensure that they also join as a part with the progress of the country